Hey guys, it's Phil here from the Goose Hummock Shop. Hope you're well. It's the 29th. Um, here's the fishing report going into the weekend. Let's do the fresh water first. So, water's starting to warm up. The larges are, are very much coming out of the depths and into the shallow water, which is really cool because now you can get at them from the bank, you can get at them from a kite really easily in the shallow water. Um, really um, great idea if you can get on the ponds that have actually got herring runs onto them. Uh, try those ponds out because that's got some huge fish and they're feeding really aggressively on the herrings at the moment. They're still going strong. Baits I'd use for fresh water. Um, I very much go for Senkos. Go for, um, you know, Shiners are working great. Night, night crawlers are working great. Stick bait's doing really, you know, really well if you want to stay on the artificials. Um, it's great fun. The trout fishing is still pretty good actually. Um, like I said before, the state have done a great job putting more fish in. So you can catch them on anything shiny really, little spoons do great. Um, you, you'll be picking up, you can pick them up on the power bait as well if you can get them out under a bobber. So the fresh water is you know, really solid, it's a great way to get out and spend some time whilst uh, isolating as you can. And then let's talk about salt water. Well salt water is really really getting good right now. We're still not really seeing the larger striped bass. There's some big ones starting to get caught in the canal. Um, Ian Big Mac from the shop, he was out on the canal last night after work. He got, I think, five, six fish, small keepers, not monsters. Um, Town Cove at the back of the shop, you can walk on the damn things. There are so many short fish out there, it's amazing. I've never seen so many small striped bass. Um, this little rascal, this is the four and a half inch dart spins, doing particularly well. Um, use a single hook obviously which is great for the smaller fish. I actually when there's so many around even pinch the barb as well so it's really easy to get them off the hook and back in the water. These little darker patterns, this is like the gold fleck. Um, the, 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 they're feeding on the chubs at the moment in these coves and creeks. Town coves are alive with them, Pleasant Bay's alive with them, um, Brewster's alive with them, you know get into Barnstable Harbour they're everywhere. Slightly bigger fish obviously in the bay but still tons and tons of small fish. Um, top water can be really aggressive. There was miles of breaking fish off Burningsgate the other day, all in that 20 to 26 inch range, catching them on the ocean bournes, catching them on the um, head and spooks, all top water really, uh, which is the best time of the year. Um, and again, we're starting to catch them on the fly. We're having good fun on the flats now with the fly with these smaller fish. Very much looking forward to getting the keepers on the fly. Um, the uh, Oh, sorry, just some noise going on next door put me off. Um, the, uh, the other thing is whilst you're actually out there is sea bass fishing is really, really strong at the moment. There's no head boats um, due to COVID, but you can actually charter um, a smaller boat now. So if you want to charter one of the six pack guys, um, feel free to call the store and ask for our advice. Um, there's plenty of bookings, a lot of people cancelled. Um, but if you can get out there, they're all taking the necessary procedures to protect you from COVID um, on a small boat. It's a wonderful way to spend the day. And like I say, the, the sea bass fishing is phenomenal right now. Absolutely lights out. Scott fishing is also a good byproduct. The jigs that are working well, I love the ocean born um, bouncing bucktail. And then what I do is I, I rig a hyperelastic dart spin on the back of it to make it a bit longer. Um, the benefit of that is you don't really catch any scup and you miss the smaller sea bass. You can do the same with a spro jig with a soft plastic on the back. Um, the spros themselves are doing great, butterfly jigs are doing great. And if you really want to get into the scup, you can't beat you know, just a weight with a high-low rig and just use a piece of squid and you catch a, you know, a boatload of, uh, of scup as well. And you can catch them obviously, like I say, on the sound side. The, um, the uh, tire reef's doing great, school reef. Down in Hyannis you'll catch the bigger fish. But also in the bay that's doing pretty well as well. So get into that deeper um, rough bottom water, not kind of like north northeast of Sussuet, and you'll find them there. You'll find them on the um, the uh, the target ship as well. I'll just be really careful fishing there because it gets very close to you. The, the wreck itself gets very close to the surface. And I think whilst you're out there, you're going to get into the tog as well. The tog fishing's been pretty good. Not massive fish in the bay, but great fun to catch. Really aggressive. You know, drown a crab and, and off you go. Um, and whilst I say, you know, another species that's just coming in now is the bluefish fishing. You fish on the south side, there's some honking great bluefish starting to arrive. Um, we were catching them on Oregon Beach the other night. We were catching like 10, 12, uh, 114 pound bluefish. Great sport, great fun, really aggressive fight. Um, use a heavy fluorocarn lever. We were catching them all on top. 
Um, they were quite a long way out, and in Oregon there was a lot of weed. So what we were doing is we were catching, we were casting the really big, heavy pencil poppers, uh, and we were getting like 30 yards of retrieve before we hit the weed line. And uh, obviously we were trying to hook up before we got there. Great fun, all top water. Get a kayak out there as well if it's not too rough. Great way to get past the weed and in amongst them. And of course, just around the corner is tuna time. The, the tuna are, aren't quite yet here. I haven't really had any solid reports. Various people record oh, dodgy looking marks and I saw something splash in the distance, but nothing real yet. But we know um, large fish are off New York, New Jersey. They are gonna be here. They're gonna be here really early, I think, this year. So it's worth getting your gear out. They'll feed well on bars earlier in the season. Ballyhoo will do well. You're potentially onto pushing fish for some not so much run, run and gun. I'm delighted to let you know, guys, that we've just taken on Siren Laws and we got our first delivery of Siren yesterday. They'll be in the store. They won't be going online. We're only selling those in the store. And we've got the uh, Deep Seductress in stock. So come and have a look at those new law to complement what we have from Strategics. We have a great line up there. So generally, if the weather's right, there is all kinds of fishing to be done on Cape Cod. Um, preserve your distance, keep away from anybody. There's no better way than doing it from fishing. Um, we're fully open, as long as you're wearing a mask in the store, um, keep your social distancing, be sensible, be safe. Um, we're open for business, the fishing's great. Um, get out there, enjoy it. Thanks very much, see you later guys.